In this remote village, images of dusty paddocks and flies buzzing over carcasses. And not far from here, a herder is watering his animals, trying to salvage what remains of his herd, as a devastating drought continues to displace thousands in several parts of Somalia and Ethiopia. These displaced families shelter under this tree near Bandarbela, in the Puntland state of northeastern Somalia, after walking for days with their animals. More than 25,000 drought-affected persons have arrived here over the past months, some from Somaliland, Puntland, central Somalia, as well as pastoralists from neighboring Ethiopia. We have been greatly affected in the ongoing drought. There is no water, there is no food, we have lost our animals. We need immediate aid assistance from the relevant agencies. Neither Puntland nor Somaliland has come to a rescue. We've lost almost all our animals. Two women and two children have died as a result. There's no clean drinking water. The government and local administration have both forgotten us. Several UN agencies are already warning that famine could soon be a reality in some of the worst drought-stricken regions of Somalia. With nearly half a million people, almost half of the country's population already facing food insecurity. The picture is likely to become even bigger. The levels of humanitarian suffering in this country, triggered by protracted conflict, seasonal shocks and disease outbreaks, are typically hard to bear. But the impact of this drought represents a threat of a different scale and magnitude. In northern Puntland and Somaliland regions, the two of the worst affected areas, inadequate rainfall and lack of water, has wiped out crops and killed livestock. The pastoral communities in this village have been forced to relocate and sell their livestock in major towns and borrow food and money for survival. Drug victims are flocking into IDP camps, having lost their livelihoods, having lost their animals, having no other place to go than to the cities. And these are the lucky ones arriving on trucks. But there are many more people that remain behind without any livelihoods and are likely to come in over the next few months in either a worse state or not at all. Meanwhile, authorities are engaging donors in efforts to address the country's protracted humanitarian crisis that's threatening to displace more in south-central regions. Somalia experienced the worst famine of the 21st century in 2011, affecting an estimated 4 million people. The famine resulted in the loss of more than quarter a million lives. And with Somalia's main focus on the upcoming presidential vote on 8th February, experts warn that the humanitarian situation in the East African nation might worsen in the coming days. Abdulaziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.